Bhagavad Gita, text 2.46 All purposes that are fulfilled by a well and more can be served by a reservoir of water. Similarly, all the purposes of the scripture can be served by a brahmana who knows their purpose. In the preceding verses, Krishna differentiates between those sections of the scripture that advocate material advancement and those that advocate spiritual progress. He also criticizes those who do not understand the purpose of the Vedas and thus take their statements about material advancement out of context. The sections of the Vedas dealing with material advancement which make up the greater balance of the text for the general populace who are full of material desires. The rituals prescribed therein seek to regulate desires bringing about religious life. Furthermore, they awaken faith in their words in those who practice the enjointed rituals. The real fruit of this subsequent faith in the scripture is that in time it causes people to look more deeply into the scripture, wherein they will learn about experiential spiritual life as opposed to religious life. Krishna wants Arjuna to come to experiential spiritual life. In encouraging him along the lines of experiential spiritual life in devotion, Krishna also prepares him for that which he, representing a beginner on the spiritual path, is presently eligible to practice. Nishkama Karma Yoga Krishna indirectly informs Arjuna in this verse that such pursuit will not leave him bereft of the fruit of his action, even though it involves sacrificing this fruit. Thus, he offers an example to help Arjuna understand. Arjuna will gain the fruits of his work even while sacrificing them, for that which he will gain by this course includes within it that which is sacrificed, just as the amount of water in a small pond is contained within a large lake. One who realizes God experiences all the bliss available through Vedic ritual and more. Although the Vedas offer many things to their adherents, their real fruit is bhakti. Krishna indicates this here. A well may dry up and its water may not be sweet. To drink from it one must hoist up the water with considerable effort after having labored to find the well in the first place. Paths other than bhakti are compared to wells. Bhakti, on the other hand, is oceanic in its outreach and depth of spiritual possibility, and whatever one can attain through other paths can be attained on the path of bhakti with less effort. In the next verse, Krishna abruptly informs Arjuna of his level of eligibility for spiritual practice, telling him to act in battle in accordance with his acquired nature. The apparent lack of connection between this verse and the next causes some confusion in Arjuna giving rise to his question in the beginning of the next chapter.